So from, we bring in a childhood trauma uh, experience here, the parent judging the child, and then um, eventually the, narr the internal narrative becomes the, uh, the, sorry, the parent's narrative becomes the, in, uh, the child's narrative. And then we, when we judge ourselves, we essentially look, we will look, like physically look down on ourselves because the shame, the shame response collapses the physical yeah. body. That's right. As well, um, especially here, I find I've done a lot of work in the past year and a half around my own my own shame and where it's stored in the body. And I feel like as soon as I have a shame response or a judgment response on myself, I collapse here. Mm. It makes it difficult to breathe. I close mm. up, and then and then my heart starts to race. And I would guess that. Like when I think of vibration, there's a lot of vibration in here, isn't there? I would think that music or music therapy or sound therapy would be very powerful to address this dynamic you just described. Absolutely. And that's the, when we talk about trauma, releasing the trauma, releasing the charge around trauma, we can use our voice to release whatever that is is, uh, is stored in here. Now, the, the how that happens, and I'll, I'll just run through this, is that the vagus nerve um, is also innervated with our vocal cords. Yeah, or, or nerves related to the vagus, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so through toning and, you know, uh, vocalizing, our internal vibration can heal ourselves with our own voice, right? If we tone like that, oh, I can feel it all the way in my chest here. Which sounds like the uh, om that the, uh, the, you know, that the Buddhists or the uh, Hindu people chant, isn't it? to sound like someone else yeah. and finding and finding that true resonance in inside and how important that connection is to be able to vocalize yeah. your truth yeah. um, you talk about the hidden cost of stress when the body says no um, and, uh, and addictions and things like that not the hidden cost of stress it's the cost of hidden stress sorry the cost of hidden stress but that's the important distinction though um, is that the cost is not hidden, but the stress that caused the, 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 the stress that incurred the cost is hidden because people are so used to it, they think it's normal. They're, they're, not, they're not even aware that they're, you're not even aware that you're suppressing yourself. So keeping that uh, vibration or, or, or vocalization internalized, it's internalized, and then that stress then invokes a cortisol response or an adrenaline response. And then all kinds of ranges of diseases can occur. Uh, I saw an interview uh, with you talking about each organ being a system onto itself or you know, a, a separate, an, an extension of the nervous system. And the diseases that are created, like heart disease or liver disease, they're all associated with your internal environment, with the psyche. And what your into what your relationship to yourself is, and that is delivering a response, and the body is storing that and manifesting. Um, and I th I'm going to take some of your examples with with cancer. The vibration of cancer is often a denial of self, yeah. where they're putting everybody else first. Yeah. Well, a lot of chronic illnesses, autoimmune diseases, malignancies. Not in every case, but like in the vast, vast, vast majority of cases, occur to people who have been self-suppressed during the childhood trauma. And uh, given the given that systems are not separate, given that the organs are and, and the viscera and the nervous system, the immune system, the gut, the heart, the brain, the emotional centers, the hormonal apparatus, it's all one part of a super system which is richly and profusely wired together into one system. It only follows that whatever happens emotionally, chronically, will have a chronic physiological effect. And so people that, and if you look at the, what the role of the immune system is, it's to keep out what's unhealthy and to allow in what's healthy. Well, emotions have the same purpose. So when people's emotions are suppressed because of childhood trauma, they're actually affecting their immune system negatively, given that it's all connected. 